Hi, it's Mike Harrison with Sky's Limit Sport Aircraft. We have an ELT here, an emergency locator transmitter that we're getting ready to test out. And here's an opportunity to see exactly how the procedure is done. It's actually quite simple. It's just a method of making sure that the ELT is working properly after it's been installed. Uh, important to note, this test should only be done within the first five minutes of the hour. So you don't want to activate this unless you're within the first five minutes of the hour. Otherwise, someone may come knocking on your door. Okay. All right. The testing is quite simple. We have the unit itself. It's already set up. It's got brand new batteries in it. We have a remote unit here. It has its own batteries that are installed and checked out. And the ELT is simply plugged in. It has the antenna all hooked up and ready to go. All right. And to make sure that this is working correctly, we have a radio set up on the emergency frequency of 121.5 so that we can hear the audible alarm coming from the ELT. It's this simple. The first step to test the base unit itself is to take the switch and we are going to push it all the way forward, which is going to put it in the on position. And we should hear an audible tone from the radio. All right, there's our audible tone from the radio. Now, we're going to do a test with the remote unit, and on the remote unit there is a black button, there is a red button. The black button is the actuation button, and the red button is a reset to turn off the ELT remotely. And here's how you do the test on that. First, you need to make sure that the ELT is in the armed position, and on the American ELT, you push down on the switch from this uh, particular angle and now it's armed it's ready to go so if we press the black button on the unit we should get the audible alarm and lights flashing and etc and there you are all right we hit the red button shut it off it's that simple thank you